All right, there you go, dirty boat. So we're gonna take this dirty boat. I have kind of swept it down a bit, so it's not as dirty as it was. It looks like it's really bad. Oh my God, it looks so bad, but I can guarantee you it's not as bad as it looks. Uh, one of the things is, see all this chalkiness right here? I don't have very much memory left on it. I go like that a bit, you can sort of see like a chalkiness on it. Well, some of that powder and that chalkiness, okay, is the, I already did the, the upper deck. So what happens is when I do the upper deck is, uh, whoop, sorry, is, uh, I'm gonna take a picture, video me taking a picture of a dirty boat. And uh, what happens is uh, when it rains and stuff, a lot of times what ends up happening is the, uh, uh, the um, I guess you'd say the residue comes over and you can see like really chalkiness like up there and so that and kind of streakiness but here's the kicker when you put the buffer to that that's just extra juice for it so most of the stuff you see here yeah there's a bit of chalkiness a bit of fade because i haven't buffed this thing since last year which i got the king canada down here to do and a ton of extension cords hope they don't like the grass on fire um yeah there's king canada there's my dirty anchor my line my anchor line not as bad as i thought it was or the road sorry the road. I get my sailing terminology. Okay, for all you guys that made the joke last night, here's my garden. Okay, there's my boat. Who, 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 which character? Which character am I? I'll give you a hint. You saved a lot of animals. Project Noah. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> guy working on his boat in his garden. Yeah, it's uh, Noah's Ark. Here we go. I got only two cats and a dog to save, but you know, there we go. So Noah's Ark. Here we go. <laughs> I thought it was a nice reference somebody made last night. So uh, anyway, I'm going to get this all set up and it's a beautiful day. It's nice and hot. Good, good uh, heat stroke weather. So make sure I don't wear a hat or nothing or anything like that. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to get this. Uh, if I can get this side done today, I'll be very happy. My goal is to do all the way around the boat. Then I can go, uh, I'm going to do the, uh, the oxidation first. And then I'm going to put on the polish and then the third go not all going to be done in one day is going to be the Wax last and that should be good for the season But uh, this is going to be a really pretty boat in, a, in about an hour or two. So there we go. I'll show you as they go All right, so here we go. We're gonna wax restore. So it's a deoxidizer or oxidizer uh, for heavy oxidized finish. That's not too bad, but it's an older boat So I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a shake. This stuff is pretty thick you don't need to put too much on, but this stuff's like really thick. Oop. Okay, I put way too much on. I was supposed to do a nice swirl for you. Didn't work out that way. What it was supposed to look like was something like, well, yeah, spread it out a bit so it's not just shooting all the place. It gets pretty messy when you do it like this. So, <laughs> sorry guys, it was supposed to be a nice little swirl, uh, but it pooped on me, so. I'll do, I'll show you a nice one on the next one. <laughs> uh, I got the buffing pad on there, not the actual uh, removal pad. But that's okay, I'm just more putting stuff on anyway. Just to show you a bit of what I'm doing, is uh, you see how I got a little bit too much on there, but you can see some of the old stuff is also getting uh, re-waxed into there too. So it's a little bit tricky to get this area with the concave, and then I gotta get up on the bow to do up there where it's really bad. Uh, maybe I'll take the brush and uh, scrape some of that off. I already kind of washed the boat, but it's just like, you know, Keeping a boat clean is like, a, uh, it, it never ends. Like you don't just wash it, then you're good for the year. It's like, yeah, so I'll take that off. Um, more going for protected than pretty, but you can get the idea. You can already see the shine in there. So this is the deoxidizer wax. Restore for heavy oxidized boats. I'll do pass one on this, on this side, pass one on the other side. Then I'll put the polish on it, then I'll put the uh, the final wax coat on it, and then uh, I'll dry buff it probably at the end of the month. 
and then probably again in August put another coat just for the winter. Usually, uh, depending on where you are, you can do two or three types. I can already see the shine in there, so there's a little bit too much on there, but that's okay because you can see like most of that there that looks like oxidation. It's actually, it's it is oxidation, but a lot of it is just the wax from the deck that is kind of streaked over the side so there's too much wax on there is what i'm telling you i guess but yeah there we go i'll just keep working on it and then i'll show you when i'm done all right so that's kind of what it's supposed to look like uh coming along uh I'll, the streaks that you see on there is uh, the built-up wax that'll probably come off on right now i'm using the uh the uh, application pad not the uh remover pad that's why it's so uh built up but uh in a couple of days when this is dry, kind of dried really well i'm going to go over it dry and that'll remove all the residue and it'll look really really good so i want to put more i want to build up the in the driest areas that's where i want to build up the most right so yeah it's coming along uh it's coming along uh it's gonna look good it's gonna look good all right don't have too much memory left but i'll show you where i'm at i'll just show you the products i'm using so this is what i was using today the heavy deoxidizer or wax restorer deoxidizer normally i just get regular oxidization remover uh, but I'll start with that <coughs> and the next one I'm going to use is going to be the uh, polish and then the cleaner wax that'll be the last one and then the rest of the season I would use the three-in-one Reno renew all 3000 this stuff is pretty good it gets places easily but I'll show you what I did and then it's uh, all I'm going to do for today so I, I, I didn't get the, the, the upper trunk cabin and stuff done but that's okay now Mind you, I'm going to show you some stuff. Like, I didn't wash the boat first, but you can see there's some color back in the boat. And there's, I got to wipe all this stuff. I should have done that first. But that's actually wax uh, that, you know, drips off the deck over the... I got way too much wax on it. And I used the applicator pad, not the uh, removal pad. But that's okay. I'm just going to protect it anyway. So tomorrow, I'll try to get some uh, polish on there. And then the final waxing. And then I could dry buff it pretty much the rest of the season. And that'll basically uh, protect the boat really, really well. So it's come along, so again, not the best job I've ever done, but uh, you know, I had a good hour and a half doing it all. I got everything. Uh, this side's a little bit, you can see all the the, two, the wax build up. Some of it's dirt, but it was mostly wax build up. But right here comes out really nice. Nice, and I know I'm going a little bit fast, but I don't have a lot of memory left on the camera right now. And the Tanzim, I gotta wash that. So uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more cleanup on it. Uh, yeah, you best to clean the boat before you polish it. I know that, but uh, you can see the, the reflection in there is pretty darn good. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty gleamy boat. So there's just a little bit too much. I got a little bit up there to do, uh, but I'll do that tomorrow. And then this side, you can see there's a little bit too much wax. There's some wax streaks on there from uh, having too much wax on it, but that's okay. I, I, it gets worked in over time. You can see how shiny it is. Uh, so tomorrow I'll do a little bit more on it and look look even better. There we go. All right, good day, hi, and welcome. Okay, so I've only got about two minutes or less of memory on my GoPro here, so I'll just try to wrap it up. I'm gonna go to the polish next. First time I'm using the polish. I just did up there really quickly. I don't know if you could see the gleam off the front of the boat there, but uh, yeah, there it is. It's looking good. Uh, there's a lot of residue. I just did up there, so you can see some of the residue we left over from. The applicator pad i'm just using one pad on this one it's about protecting it not really making it super pretty but uh it's gonna be pretty nice when it's done and all that extra residue stuff uh you can wipe it off with a cloth after if you really care about it and make it look a little bit nicer but anyway i'll show you when i get done all right so good news and bad news good news i got most of the boat done bad news i wasn't able to finish shows up to where the ladder is looks like my king canada's finally kaput not too bad i got a little bit of time out of it anyway i'll just see i'll show you what it's doing i, I think it's broken <laughs> yeah. yeah she's done yeah yeah it's done lost all its torque and everything oh well i mean 40 bucks right it owes me nothing but I won't show you the gleam right now. I'm gonna save the rest. I'll wait till the sun goes down a bit. Not the nicest job I've ever done, but boy, I tell you, this boat is really gonna gleam when that sun's off a little bit there. You're gonna see, this evening, you're gonna see how shiny it actually is. Right now, it's just too bright out. But uh, yeah, looks good. Got this side all done. That side's just really nice. Again, not the cleanest job I've ever done. I gotta wipe the, the residue off, but at least it's done anyway. 
There we go.